Hi, this is Sarah Jane Parsons, the director and curator of the art galleries at TCU, and I'm here today at Fort Worth Contemporary Arts with our guest artist, Raphael Barantini, who is a French artist uh, who's been working with us here at the galleries uh, this spring. He's currently based in Singapore, and he's going to give us a tour of the show. Hi, Raphael. Hello, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Raphael, can you tell us, uh, describe for us, what are the objects in this exhibition that we're starting to look at and how do they relate to each other? Yes, of course. So the main piece you can see in the, in the space is a panorama. It's a large scale textile installation uh, who is representing a battleground scene. And you have different characters like riders uh, on horses and those characters uh, are historicals and um, that piece really gave me the idea of, of the show and I started the production with that piece and after that I imagined a performance who could be uh, during the opening uh, related to this piece and I started to work on wearable uh, items like capes, shops or scarves. So all these items were on the riders during the performance and I love this idea to have uh, activated uh, pieces on the performance and then those pieces uh, who could be uh, installed in the space and be also the pieces of the show. Mm -hmm. And can you talk about some of the materials that you're using for your work? We're seeing quite a few different things here and, and perhaps tell us what guides your selection of those particular materials. Yes, uh, the question of the ceremonial in my work is very important. So based on that ID, you can find a, a lot of different types of fabrics and trimmings and everything who can help me to have a very catchy and nice uh, piece. I usually work with different types of uh, representation. Uh, it could be image uh, screen printed on fabric, uh, also uh, different types of uh, digital printing. So for that print, it's mainly a uh, painting that I do uh, on canvas, like abstract backgrounds, that I take picture of it and, and then print uh, in a digital way on fabric. So it's mainly the base of my uh, pieces. And then I can add a lot of trimmings and decorative uh, pieces who are really doing the, the work uh, of apparatus. And we're seeing quite a lot of photographic details in your work. Can you tell us a bit more about the significance of the portraits that we're looking at? Yes, my idea is to mix the, the painting and the photography. Thanks to the silk screen printing, for example, uh, those two medias can be uh, mixed. The images that I use in my work uh, and in my prints are mainly historical and also with a, a, a super strong symbolic uh, content. It's a way for me to speak about how common history, speak about the, the history of the Caribbeans and also of course the French history. Those different photographic details are uh, mainly transferred thanks to the, to the six screen printing or the digital printing, but all of them have a historical content. And uh, as we can see in, in the, the panorama, you have different characters who are expressing the pride of these riders who were uh, fighting for the independence against the French colonization. And I think the panorama, it's such a, a striking uh, part of the exhibition and offers a really generous viewing perspective from up close and far away. You kind of engage with it in many different ways. Um, why did you choose to use this format and, and what do you hope visitors will be able to experience? Yes, my idea was to think about an immersive uh, textile installation who could be at the same time historical and say something about the media of painting and this quality of making narratives and also was to of course uh, try to do a strong piece where the viewers can be uh, impressed by the, the scale of it and also the content. This piece was representing uh, writers in a battleground scene, I tried to make it strong and be a kind of uh, expression of a pride. Thank you.